<laughs> All good. All right, cool. So um, I'm going to do a bit of a rundown of some popular WordPress themes, um, some positives and negatives there. Some of the most popular ones at the moment. Look, we don't have time to go through through everything, and I've probably missed a few as well. Um, but I sort of approached it from the point of view that most people will be running some type of page builder now, whether or not that's Elementor or Viva Builder on what we were sort of discussing last week. Um, I sort of went to compare them and sort of to see what the fastest was. Um, so I did have a controlled sort of experiment where I loaded in um, a few different options and I went either for the Hello theme, which is the Elementor new theme that's just out, through Astra, through Generate Press, the Page Builder Framework. And although I didn't analyze Genesis the same way, I chucked it in there as well because it's something that I've used at my agency for 10 years. One thing I didn't do is review any of this rubbish. Um, they are multi-purpose themes and they're not really gonna solve anything for you. They may look good. Look, the B theme, right, 450 pre-built templates all using like three plugins um, to make them look good. Your content is never going to fit into any of those templates. So it's really not worth bothering about any of this. Um, I did notice there that, um, I don't even know if this works, maybe. The Jupyter X theme has been updated to use Elementor now. So I thought that was interesting, but the, the rest of them are pretty much using, uh, this Enfold has its own theme builder. Uh, Flatsum has its own, Avada's using Visual Composer, Visual Composer, Visual, Visual Composer. Um, I went into plugins uh, in Visual Composer and stuff last, mo uh, last month, so I'll upload those slides for you. But yes, lots of pre-bundled plugins, Revolution Slider and things like that. I think that's a GIF, yeah. Um, briefly touching on that, if you turn off Visual Composer, this is what your site will look like. So, uh, just, just a bunch of short code rubbish. I think that was actually Divi code, but it's very much the same. So just don't. So what themes did we look at? We looked at the Hello theme. Um, so this is Elementor's uh, theme. They say it's the fastest WordPress theme ever created. I'm not sure if it is but uh, all well, my tests said that it wasn't. But it's a free theme and it's good for landing pages and is very bare bones. Uh, it won't give you many options whatsoever, but good for things like landing pages or if you are just using Elementor. Really depends on your use case. Um, then looked at uh, Astra, which is built by Brainstorm Force, a company out of India. They have a free and a pro version of that. Uh, they also have a few other functions that we'll go into. Generate Press, uh, it seemed to stem out of a, a cleaner version of Genesis. It's, it's now come on a lot. There's a lot of different options. I haven't personally used it only for this test, but Edmund looked like you were using it. Yeah, I've uh, been using this for a few years already. Yeah, the premium version, um, which comes with more options, especially, especially for WooCommerce um, customizations. So it's also lightweight, like what you mentioned over there. So I recommend this. Um, there's also Page Builder Framework, which has been out for about a year or two, uh, and specifically built for page builders, and was the fastest out of all that I tested. Um, but I haven't really built anything with it just for the tests. And what I use in my agency is um, Genesis by Studio Press, which is now owned by WP Engine. Um, their themes kind of came about probably in the 2009 plus when things were built mainly with widgets they had a lot of turnkey solutions mainly focused in the blogging area um, rather than business sites but all their themes are pretty much Gutenberg compatible now so they're moving away from widgets into Gutenberg so it can be a good way to get started um, otherwise they have a very clean um, site to get started off as well. So we'll kind of go through each one a little bit, uh, let you know what it looks like. This is the Hello theme. It was released in May this year. Uh, it's free from the WordPress repository. Um, has no headers or footers. Everything's built with Elementor, so you'd have to use Elementor Pro to have that functionality, or use something like Beaver Builder, Beaver Thema. 
Uh, it's no mega framework or anything like that. There's no features and there's no integrations. There's nothing in the cam customizer. Uh, it's just a blank canvas. So if you pull it out of the box and install it, it's going to look like this, uh, which is a little misleading when you look at the screenshots that they have. Um, so yeah, pretty much nothing, uh, a static page, you just need to build everything with CSS or something yourself. This is the blog archive view, so no styling there either. Um, header two tags for here, uh, header one for archives. No metadata, so you see there's no comments, there's no dates uh, or anything like that. They could obviously be done with action hooks, but out of the box there's nothing there. Uh, this is the single post view, which is pretty underwhelming as well. It has some basic comment status, but not really that much there either. Uh, very bare bones. It does run an H1 tag, which is good, so all the semantics are there, but uh, not much metadata. It has some basic WooCommerce, but if you look at it, uh, because there's no options, that's the default WooCommerce uh, settings and colors. Uh, so you then have to dig in and, and customize that. So in the customizer, you pretty much have no settings besides the normal WooCommerce uh, WordPress ones. So identity, menus, homepage settings, and additional uh, CSS. So definitely something to use with Elementor, and obviously that's what they want you to do. Uh, Astro was the next one we checked out. Um, they have a free and a pro version, one in the repository. Headers and footers uh, can be built using the theme as well. Um, and it has a child theme generator. So if you go on to uh, somewhere on there, there's a link under starter sites. I think um, you go in there, you can type in a bit of information and it would zip up a, a child theme for you um, with all your details on it. So uh, it's good because uh, sometimes renaming all those files can be a bit of a problem. Just saves you a bit of time, so it generates you a child theme. This is what it looks out of the box. So as you can see, there's already a little bit of style. Um, not great style, but at least you can see that there's a defined header, content section, and sidebar. I mean, not many people are using sidebars anymore, but that's the default look. Um, and it has metadata, so you have leave a comment, you have, you know, who it's by. So it's a little bit more in-depth there. Uh, this is the single post view, so again, it has the, the comments that are styled a little bit as well. So you don't have to worry about that. As in a difference here, uh, you can see that if you have customized everything to blue, then it at least lines up. I think maybe there's still one pixel out, but... Uh, all your colors are going to come through as well. Um, all the tabs are not the default ones, so it does bring through uh, your styling. Everything, again, built in the customizer. So there's more options for Astra Pro like there is on most of the themes nowadays. Layout settings, colors, and backgrounds and things. So that's all customized through there. Um, one of the strengths that they have and Generate Press has as well, is the ready to import websites. So turnkey websites that are either built on Elementor, Beaver Builder, Gutenberg, or Breezy. So you can download some of those. Some of those will be agency level, some of them will be free. Next one we looked at was Generate Press, and look, I haven't used this that much um, just for testing. There's a free and premium version. It's uh, performance focused. There is a theme library as well. A site library there which you can download some uh, created by Tom Osborne uh, which is a pretty good guy in the community so uh, out of the box it uh, very similar look to Genesis um, and a little bit similar to, to Astra as well so it has a clear navigation and then the sidebar look as well all the options here are then based in the customizer so you can go and change a lot of those settings there uh, one thing it does as well, and this is for the premium version, you can go through and, and activate uh, these settings. So Astra has this setting as well, so you can turn things on or off uh, depending on what you need. So if you wanted to run some hooks, um, you can run that through this element here. If you wanted to change the copyright, you can activate those settings in there uh, and make those changes. So if you were wanting to run some hooks, 
Um, it can be done, uh, done through here as well. So you can either execute some PHP. Personally, I wouldn't. I'd do that in the functions.php file, as mentioned before, but it's an, it's an option anyway. Uh, and then it has some layout options. So you can do the format of posts, which I'm not sure too many people use, but it, when Tumblr was big, WordPress decided to bring it through. Um, and then there's some options here for sidebar and, and footer widgets as well. Um, again, very sort of blog focused. And there's the theme layout library, so it really depends on, on what you need there. You can uh, import any of those. Uh, page builder, look, I only went in through slightly. It's a modern page builder um, showcase in, in WordPress, so made for page builders only, uh, and it's pretty fast. So it does have a child theme generator. So like what I was saying before, you can put your theme name in and theme description, your version, your author, and it will populate all your files from there. So you can just, um, if you have a screenshot and download that. So similar to Astro, which makes things as a developer a lot easier. Again, all the options here in the customizer, pretty standard things there. It has a header, uh, it has a footer section and some widgets as well. And you can change the, the options, uh, customizer layout, colors and things like that. Um, it has one good menu as well, which is performance settings. So if you do want a global full width template setting, so you are using um, a page builder and you want every page to be full width, it's just a little checkbox. If you then want to remove the page title from this page, it's a little checkbox. And most of these settings are now bundled into your performance optimization plugins, like if you're using WP Rocket or something like that. Um, but it's nice that it will clean up some of that rubbish that you don't need necessarily. Um, the feed links if you're not running RSS and embeds and emojis if you're not running that. Um, so that's a little uh, good thing. It also has uh, your, uh, your white label access as well if you're a developer and you don't want people to know that you're running that theme. Um, that can be your company's theme. Briefly uh, on Genesis, which is what we have used for just on 10 years now, it's a highly customizable child theme designs, previously with uh, widgets, now with Gutenberg, um, recommended by Yoast, Matt Katz, Matt Mallingwerg, uh, and some of the other big players in the market as well. It's also had its all of its security code, or all of its code, re reviewed by Mark Jackwith as well, who's a big security expert. So it's a lightweight coding. It has a really big community as well, has a big following. So there's a lot of people doing some good sp stuff in that space. Um, very heavily re relied on hooks and filters as well. And the changes that they're making for version three plus um, are really good. So a really simple breakdown um, is that it's built uh, sort of from an SEO perspective up. Um, and the th it's not going to really let you do anything. Uh, it's got a good community behind it um, that you can contribute back to. So out of the box, this is what the front end looks like now. Um, and that's all built with Gutenberg. So there's a sample theme on GitHub that you can download. Um, options now. So this is where the options used to be. They're now rolled into Customizer. But very similar options as well. All updates and things very rarely break anything. Um, but yeah, it's quite a uh, robust uh, theme. Out of the box, these are your different child theme options. So these aren't included in some type of pro plan, or I think it is a $500 plan and you get access to all their themes. If you're a WP Engine customer, you get access to all this as well. But since they bought them out, you can just go and, and roll any of these themes in. But they're all very widget based. Um, so. If you do want to run a page builder with it, uh, so they have Gutenberg and WooCommerce support, but if you do want to run a page builder with it, um, you can run this Genesis Dam Buster, um, named because of the Beaver Builder integration, um, but it just makes all your pages full width, basically. Um, the community, so it has a really active uh, Genesis WP uh, Slack community which is an unlimited account because WP Engine are paying for it. So there's history that goes back a fair while and there are lots of different channels 
uh, for development as well. So, uh, right. So, for the testing that I did, um, we tested both the free and the pro versions. We tested different capabilities. Um, we tested the page size and the requests, and we tried to match apples to apples as much as we could, uh, except for the Genesis one. That one's a little bit different. Um, the test environment was a Cloudways VPS, um, DNS via Cloudflare, but I didn't bother using any uh, caching, so all that was turned off. Um, latest WordPress, and then we disabled pretty much everything that we could. Um, even includes of additional pages and blog posts and things, uh, we just turned all that off. Um, what did we test? So we ran some tests, so header and footer without content, so basically a simple page with no content. We then ran header and footer with some content, uh, and then a header and footer with a theme builder. So those are the, the options that we ran. Uh, I've got one lot of results here, which is, is um, the header and footer with a the theme builder, and then the uh, it's a demo Elementor version. So we just downloaded a template, chucked that into each of them, and then tested them. And the results we have here. So this is pretty much the theme with a few different options uh, turned on. So the hello theme ran a little bit, a um, little bit longer than I thought it would, uh, 2.1 seconds, considering it really doesn't have any options whatsoever. Uh, 62 requests, so an additional request from there. Um, Astra came out pretty standard, a little bit uh, page size, a little bit more. Generate Press came in um, in sort of second place in terms of load time, and Page Builder Framework uh, came in as the quickest out of them all. But realistically, if you're, if you're looking at them all, they're all really good results. I mean, under two seconds for a three and a half megabyte page um, is pretty good anyway. Uh, 62, 61 requests. So to be honest, when I saw most of these results and the ones with no comment, uh, no content, are all very similar as well. So to be honest, if you picked any of these themes, uh, you, you're at a good start anyway. It really depends whether or not you want options in terms of the hello, you sort of just want to use a page builder, or if you want a few more options uh, in Astro Generate Press and, and Page Builder Framework. Prices are all very similar as well, around sort of $50 for the pro versions. Um, because I didn't run any other tests, I would just run that one before. Um, so yeah, a little bit slower for, for a live site, but obviously it had um, just one option there, and that's just running from their demo server. So 4.6 seconds is a little bit slow for a um, 460 kilobyte site, but only 39 requests. So it's not an apples for apples comparison there, but uh, a sort of good test anyway. So in conclusion, like I was saying, they're pretty much all good, <laughs> um, except for anything from ThemeForest. Uh, Astra and Genesis are my favorites just because I've worked with them a lot more, um, but Page Builder Framework was a little bit surprising in terms of uh, the speed that it had. Really depends whether or not you're building landing pages, customized sites um, with it, with uh, or sort of or just landing pages. So stick with one, don't try them all out, uh, and then just go with that because the differences are really, really minimal. And that's it, really. Why you not recommend use of Flatsum? So I didn't really go into any e-commerce functionality in this. Uh, the e-commerce functionality in Flatsum is okay, but generally speaking, if you're just talking about building a site, uh, that these themes are okay. There's this whole bunch of complexities involved with e-commerce, so I didn't really look at it here. Uh, Flatsum is an okay theme. Yeah, thanks. But uh, the themes that you just showed, are they recommended for e-commerce? Yeah, they're all WooCommerce compatible. It, it depends though, because they're all white label themes, so they're pretty much blank. So if you download that theme, you're not going to get a lot of style. You'll get the default WordPress or WooCommerce look. You then have to customize it yourself. Whereas something like Flatsim has a template already. So that's the difference. No, so you'd use something like Elementor or Beaver Builder on top of it. So you're saying about Flatsum, right? 
it comes with the visual proposal, right? So you're saying that it's not as good as that mentor. So what if I remove visual proposal and replace it with that? Yeah, your speed. Yeah, your speed on requests will come down. It's it's a US builder over there. It's what's yeah, they've got their own builder. It's not exactly a Visual Composer, but it's similar in terms of how it builds in short codes. Um, out of the box, it looks quite good for an e-commerce site. Uh, it loads okay as well, but yeah, I mean, I didn't really go with e-commerce for this talk. It was more just you know a straight theme out of the box mainly for using page builders. No, that was something else that was on the list. I just ran out of time for testing them all. But yeah, there's that, um, but I haven't tried that one yet. Is there a difference when you build from the elemental blank canvas to the theme? Just just in terms of options, so the, the Elemental Hello theme really gives you no option for your header, so you have to use Elemental Pro to build the header and the footer. I mean, if you want to build from the scratch itself, yep. from the blank canvas to the theme, in terms of the performance, is there a difference? Uh, in terms of performance between them, very negligible. It, it really depends on the features that you want from that base theme. If you're happy to build everything in a page builder, mm -hmm then the hello theme works fine. If you want a few options to customize your colors and your fonts and things, then something like Astra, Generate Press, or Page Builder Framework gives you those options. Otherwise, you have to do it in uh, Elementor or in your CSS. Because currently, I'm trying to build from the blank canvas itself, right? Yep. So everything from there, I just try to know the performance wise not in the future, it won't hinder anything. You're, you're talking about like microseconds, the difference between them all. So your dependencies around your scripts and what you add into your page builder is where you're going to slow it down, image sizes and things like that. Uh, you're not really going to save that much between each of these different options. Cool. All right. Um,